Hi again, I am back. Um, I'm Kathleen Elsey. This is the third of uh, the 28 paintings that I'm taking to Thomas Mosier Gallery in San Francisco for my show. Uh, this painting I actually started two years ago. It's been in my garage for a couple of years. It was a painting that I've been wanting to do for quite a while using a violin that someone gave me and also the red goblets uh, from 1880 that are part of my ancestors, um, I don't know what you would call it, uh, uh, hope chest. They were passed on to me a few years ago from my cousin. And um, the frog candle holder in the painting is an artifact that I purchased in France about 15 years ago uh, and gave to my husband for one of our anniversaries. Uh, I had in mind before painting it that it was going to be a dark, rich painting. Lots of reds and, and, and dark colors, not as bright as some of my sunny beaches or outdoor paintings. And in fact, I set it up in one of the painting workshops that I taught. Um, it was a five-day painting workshop. And by the fifth day of the workshop, nobody even went near it. No one wanted to try it. Uh, and so I decided, well, if I demonstrate it, then they'll all want to paint it. So I did begin it as a demo painting a couple of years ago. Nobody still would go near it and paint it. I think it's one of those things that I had this vision of my own, and, and it was something that I wanted to paint and loved because it had some of my favorite artifacts in it. Um, I began with a sketch. Um, maybe you can see this sketch that I have here. Uh, I began with this sketch and uh, pretty well sort out some of the problems that I thought I might have with it. For instance, the picture frame had a photograph of my great uncle and great grandfather, uh, the ones that owned the red goblets were in the painting. But when I was sketching it, I started to realize that I needed to do some, some simplification to, uh, in the final painting. So um, I began the painting, I worked on it for about an hour and roughed in the colors, uh, dark rich colors, got the feeling that I wanted. And then I had to finish the painting later at home from the photographs that I shot. But it's one of my favorite paintings. It's different from most of the paintings that I do. Uh, I still consider it plein air because it's painted in the open air in the studio. Um, but I love it. It's one of my favorite paintings. It's a little on the dark side. I hope some of you will like it also. Hope to see you at, uh, at the show in San Francisco. Bye.